If you've watched my recent videos, you know that San Francisco Rush 2049 is playable in Maine in version 0.206, which is awesome. Boomslang, the author of FFB Plugin, which allows force feedback in MAME games, was kind enough to update it so it works with the new MAME specifically for this game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of the force feedback in action. I'm playing on the special edition, uh, which has the extra track 6 and 7, but it'll also work on the standard Rush 2049. So like the other game, you can feel the clicking as you cycle through the different tracks. You can already see it doing its thing. Anyway, if you're a Rush fan, I have something cool to show you at the end of the video, but I want to go over something else first relating to FFB plugin. Now, in my previous video, you might have noticed that Cruisin' World didn't really have strong force feedback. You can still see it here. It works, but it just isn't very pronounced. So I'm going to show you something you can do to increase it. Quit out of MAME and go into this file here, ffbplugin.ini. At the bottom, you'll see something that says FFB mode equals zero. So I'm going to change that to one instead of zero and save it. I'm going to start MAME up again. Before I start, I do want to point out something that's completely unrelated. You'll notice I'm playing on version 2.4, even though the latest version is 2.5. There was no manual transmission in version 2.5. That was a upright cabinet conversion thing. It didn't have a shifter at all. So I recommend playing on 2.4 if you want the manual transmission. You can already see the steering wheel moving more than it did before. There's that manual option. and it's already much more active than it was. So you can play around with that setting. It might be different for each game, so just experiment until you get it the way you like it. In fact, when I was showing you the footage for Rush 2049, I actually was using this setting as well. Now I've already shown you force feedback on the original San Francisco Rush. As great as the original arcade game was, it was notorious for having a low frame rate. On the Build Your Own Arcade Controls forums, a user named BigTimer781 created a special version of MAME 0.199 that actually overclocks the CPU on the original Rush, and the result is that it runs at a much higher frame rate than even the original arcade hardware did. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but trust me, it's working better than it normally does. On top of that, Boomslang made a special version of the FFB plugin to work with this build of MAME. So what we have here is the higher frame rate version of Rush the Rock Alcatraz Edition with force feedback running in MAME. I'll just show you a little bit of gameplay footage, but it's exactly what you would expect. Anyway, we've come a long way since uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 3 with those strange versions they put on there. I'll provide links in the description for all this. Uh, special thanks to everybody involved from uh, Boomslang for making the FFB plugin to get this force feedback working, Big Timer 781 for the higher frame rate version of uh, Rush the Rock, and of course Ted Green on the uh, main team for getting Rush the Rock and 
Rush 2049 working, which is fantastic. So it's a good time to be a Rush fan, at least if you're only playing on single player.